Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the optimal computer setup and that is to use multiple screens if you're not doing that already. One of the first things that best practice when you are using Camtasia 9 is that you make the use of multiple screens and that can be the screen on your laptop as well as a monitor. It can be the screen on your desktop as well as another monitor. It can be two monitors. The fact of the matter is that you need to make use of multiple screens if you're going to be most effective in screencasting. And making those monitors available and making them work with your operating system is very easy to do in Windows and Mac. In fact, Windows and Mac operating systems make accommodations for people who use multiple screens. They anticipate that you're going to make use of multiple screens. An additional monitor is not expensive, so probably you talking in the area of $50 used, maybe $100 new. Typically an additional monitor could be picked up for as little as $50 used and $100 new. Now you're going to want to purchase as high of a resolution that you can when you get the monitor. And we're going to say that at minimum, you should be looking for 1920 by 1080 pixels. That is probably the standard at which you're going to be producing videos and that you want to edit your videos. And if you have a laptop that has that resolution, then you want to be able to use your screen effectively using the same resolution. Here's what multiple screens do. They allow you to toggle back and forth between notes and screens and other things that will help you to create your video. For example, you're looking at the recording toolbar here and we have been able to move this back and forth due to the multiple screen environment. And what this does is this allows you to focus on what you are describing and it also gives you some alternatives, especially when you're using especially when you're using the screenwriting tools and everything else that you're going to be using as you start to screencast. Now, in fact, it's going to make it very easy for you to be able to do PowerPoint videos. And one of the things that you have probably noticed, and maybe you noticed in one of the previous videos in the basic course, is that you can switch back and forth between the presenter view as well as the display view. And this really does help you to be able to monitor where you are. So for example, you are looking at a slide presentation and when you have a multiple screen environment, you can actually look over to the right and know what's coming next. You can actually start to plan in your mind as to what you're actually gonna be saying about what you're going to be describing to your audience. And this is especially helpful when you're screencasting. But we're going to go ahead and switch back to the presenter view. Of course, if you can make use of three monitors, you can be even more efficient because you can spread some of the load across three monitors and be effective. In some case, if you have a document you're referring to during your PowerPoint presentation, as well as having that PowerPoint staging area, as well as having your presentation, again, taking advantage of multiple screens is a very effective way of being able to use Camtasia. And this does not have to be expensive or fancy. You can have something as simple as an old monitor as well as an old laptop. The most important thing when you are projecting and when you are presenting is that you have these multiple screens. And as long as they can be side by side and be next to each other, this will allow you to toggle back and forth and to be able to refer to things and to be able to be effective when you are communicating. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.